Oh. They may uh, both Saturday and Sunday could be quite rainy. We're going to go over that. Got an update on the storm and here the next three days. Let's just start it off. Rain chances actually begin to go up tomorrow afternoon and evening at at least 40%. There could be a thunderstorm tomorrow night leading into a wet and stormy Saturday and Sunday. Brief periods of sun with a whole lot of rain both days of the weekend. Gorgeous summer evening out there. It's 83 feels like 89 dew point at 73 with a light south breeze at five miles an hour. Galveston, you're 84 right now. Bush 83. Huntsville 85, Sugarland at 83 outside right now. It's a bit warm for the evening walk. Radar is quiet. I've been watching this thunderstorm kind of make its way toward Lake Charles and fizzle out, but that's interesting because it's actually part of another group of storms up near Dallas. That's pushing to the south. It's weakening. I don't think that'll get in here tomorrow, but this is all happening ahead of a cold front. Now this is actually cooling things off a little bit across the Great Lakes in the northeast next couple of days, but for us it's a weekend rainmaker as it sags south slowly. Now as it pushes south, it's bumping into a whole lot of deep tropical moisture that's been coming off the Gulf of Mexico. You can feel that when you walk outside. That will be the lifting mechanism that kicks off a band of showers that may park itself over us on Saturday and then just not go anywhere Saturday night and through Sunday. And this is by Sunday evening, still rainy. Street flooding will be a threat over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Here's tomorrow's forecast. We start out quiet. 20% chance for a shower, hot and muggy by noon, and then I'll bump rain chances to 40%. We'll be looking to the north as that front pushes a little closer. We could see some storms fire off near Waco or up toward Madisonville and then push south toward Houston late in the day. All right, to the tropics, this is Elsa, and you may notice we've gone from ragged to a whole lot more organized this evening. Wind speeds in Elsa have increased to 50 miles an hour. The only reason it's not rapidly intensifying right now is because it's moving so quickly to the west northwest at more than 25 miles an hour. Here we are, wind sustained at 50, moving at 26 miles an hour. Pressure's at 1,003 millibars, and it's located at 11.8 north, 55.9 west. Forecast track from the Hurricane Center just updated actually has shifted a little further to the east, closer to the Florida Peninsula. It looks likely that this is a Florida storm. Key West, Fort Myers, Tampa would take the brunt of a 60 mile an hour tropical storm as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. On that track, Houston, Galveston would have minimal to zero impacts, but I would urge you to continue to watch the forecast as we go through the weekend, just in case it shifts a little bit. Here's the extended 40% chance for storms in the afternoon and evening tomorrow, and then it's a rainy Saturday, rainy 4th of July Sunday. Rain chances stay elevated going into Monday and Tuesday of next week. We could have several inches of rain. By the, time it's, by the time it's all said and done, be careful on the roads and moving out there and have fun on what's going to be kind of a wet 4th of July, guys. Have